Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Happy end of the week. Week 17 of NFL, which is pretty cool. Uh, I actually had the chance to watch a little bit of football today, so I'm excited about that. With school and so forth, not a lot of time to watch uh, football, but hey, it is what it is, right? So, a couple of things. Number one, please, if you haven't done thus far, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate everyone watching the videos, but if you can hit that button below, thank you very much. Um, and I'll say also, last week, really enjoyed doing the top 10 of 2020. I uh, had a fun time and loved going through all the comments and so forth, which one of the comments, by the way, was from my man, uh, Greg Martin. Greg said, hey, Bourbon Judge, you should review Parker's Heritage, right? So uh, thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Shout out to you, my friend. And that's what we're going to review today, right? So I listen to you guys and gals that's out there. So I listen to everyone. So thank you for that, Greg. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into Parker's Heritage, right? So Parker's Heritage uh, comes from, first and foremost, I'm talking about one of the top distilleries out there, right? So Heaven Hill, Kentucky-based distillery, right? Well-known, well-known brand, great quality as a whole as it relates to Heaven Hill. Parker's Heritage is one of the sub-brands, right? So Parker's Heritage started back in 2007. Um, every year they release one edition. So this is the 2020 edition, which is the 14th edition of the product, right? Um, if you recall, last year they also released, last year's release was this one here, the Rye. But we're not here to talk about last year. We're here to talk about, well, that was 2019. We're here to talk about the 2020 version, which is the bourbon. So what do we know about this one, right? A couple of things. So Parker Heritage is named after the late master's distiller, uh, Parker Beam, right? So it's named after him uh, in his honor. Um, and when you think about this year's, right? First and foremost, the bottle itself. I mean, look at that. That is just classy, right? Straight up classy. This one comes in, 2020 version comes in at aged 10 years. The proof is 120 proof. And uh, it has a mash bill, I think it's 78, 12, 10, right? What does that mean, Bourbon Judge? 78% corn, 12% marta barley, 10% rye, right? So that's the mash bill. But the unique thing about Parker's Heritage, and specifically for this one as well, it has the heavy char, right? So it's level five. Bourbon Judge, what in the hell does that mean? All right, so Heaven Hill, typically, when they're creating their barrels, they char their barrels um, at level three, which means about 40 seconds, right? So they're firing the, the hell out of the barrels for 40 seconds, right? And we all know that's where bourbon gets its flavor from, right? But at level five, they're not doing it for 40 seconds, they're doing it for a minute and a half, right? So 90 seconds of just firing the you-know-what out of those barrels, right? And that's honestly where bourbon gets its lovely character, taste profile, everything from uh, you know from from the wood, all right? The bourbon is able to penetrate the wood a lot more. So um, typically, it produces more caramel, sweet, vanilla-based bourbons. Um, and let's see whether or not this one does, right? Let's go ahead and jump into this one, right? So I will say, from an availability standpoint. This is a hard one to find, honestly. This is one I'm gonna go ahead and pour it and keep talking because I'm a talker. Uh, this is one where, honestly, it's been on my hit list for years. And I never bought it at a store. I've had it at bars, but I never bought it at a store because the price point is always, I mean, the MSRP is $125, but you see in stores for 200, 300, sometimes 600, right? Which is ridiculous, straight up ridiculous. Um, I hate to say it. Ethically, I almost went against my own moral standards and I almost bought this on secondary. I really did because I wanted it that bad. However, fast forward to Christmas, right? Christmas goes around, walk into one of my local liquor stores, not even like a, with a connect. I mean, just truly walk in, trying to look for, see if there's any bottles, new bottles out on the shelves. Look behind the counter and I see this year's version and the 2019 rye behind the counter, both at MSRP, buck and a quarter, and a buck fifty for the rye. If you ever had that moment where your heart just starts to, you have that holy shit. I think I just hit the like the jackpot, right? Literally, went up, bought them both right at MSRP. No connections, no special deals, no wink, wink. Give me a special handshake. None of that. Straight up, just a solid, you know, luck of the jaw, right? I was the lucky man that day, or lucky judge. So. Um, Either way, very happy to finally get these added to the collection and let's go ahead and see whether or not they're worth it. All right, so let's look at the color real quick. So from a color standpoint, obviously at a level, at a char number five, this bad boy is super dark. I mean, it's like, 
it matches my table, right? I mean, it's nice though. Very nice. A nice, dark, elegant brown. It's like deep, deep. Very nice. All right. Let's get into the nose. Mmm. Wow. The nose just screams a couple things. So what I like about this is that non-floral, not floral, not that floral is bad, but this is not floral at all. This is just, you can just smell the smoke. It's straight up smoky. Smoky, tons of spice in there. You can almost kind of like, like almost like that burnt wood kind of a smell and spicy, like peppery. Tons of caramel, some vanilla. Gosh, you just smell that barrel. Some leather. No maple syrup, oddly enough. I thought I would have had some maple syrup in there, but no, no maple syrup. Mm, this is just, on a cold winter day, this is a nice nose. Now I'm just praying that the palate is that damn good also. Hopefully so. Mm. All right. As I say every week, salute, cheers to everyone out there. Really appreciate everyone watching the channel. Um, love the commentary, you know, love all the feedback, love going back and forth. Um, so thank you again, right? Straight up, thank you. Cheers, my friends. Okay. Mm. All right. So one thing com comes through. Well, a lot comes through. Whew, interesting. So that has a very nice and long finish. Nice and long. The second thing that comes through, before I tell you that, let me finish this bad boy off. Mmm. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Everything from the nose transfers to the palate. That's the second thing. The surprise is I was wrong. My nose fooled me. The nose, I did not get maple syrup. In the palate, nice long finish. And what's lingering in my mouth is the maple syrup. So my nose was wrong, right? But the palate, it definitely stood me right. That was good. That was really, really good. All right, $125 bottle at MSRP. Is it worth buying or is it worth leaving on the shelf? The verdict, my friends, is in. This is definitely a buy. Woo! This bad boy is, I'm talking, amazing. And I don't mean like good, I don't mean like it's okay. I mean it is amazing. Like as in straight up amazing, right? That is some solid juice. So, a lot of people always ask me, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the record straight right now, right? Let's get this party started right. All right. Is it worth secondary prices? Four, five, seven hundred dollars. In my opinion, absolutely not. But is it solid right at 125? Even above 125, maybe like up to 200 dollars? Definitely. I probably wouldn't pay no more than 200, right? So just to be clear, I would not pay secondary four, five, six. I even saw it for 800 dollars uh, recently. No way, Jose. But for 125, up to maybe 200, all day, every day. Let's rock and roll. This, my folks was delicious. From me to you, appreciate you guys. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.